South Carolina pastor John Paul Miller's home has been raided by the FBI in a shocking turn of events. Months after his wife Micah's tragic suicide, federal agents were seen storming his Myrtle Beach residence, raising serious questions about the man who claimed to have led a life of faith. Disturbing details are surfacing, from allegations of abuse and property fraud to accusations of scandalous church misdeeds. The quiet neighborhood of Myrtle Beach witnessed a startling sight recently. FBI agents in uniforms marked evidence response team swarming the home of Pastor John Paul Miller. Six months ago, Miller made headlines when his wife Micah died in a tragic incident he announced during a bizarre sermon at his church. But what seemed like a tragic story of loss has now taken a dark twist, with agents executing a search warrant at Miller's lavish property. Witnesses reported seeing multiple FBI vehicles lining the street as agents in gloves retrieved bags of evidence from trucks parked outside. According to a spokesperson, the Bureau was conducting court-authorized law enforcement activity, but specific details about the purpose of the raid remain under wraps. Micah's death itself sent shockwaves through the community. Surveillance footage revealed the haunting last moments of her life showing her purchasing a firearm and driving to Lumber River State Park, where she took her own life. While there's no indication that Miller was directly involved in her death, rumors began swirling almost immediately. Many questioned the circumstances surrounding her tragic end, pointing to allegations of abuse and even infidelity. Then, in May, further revelations surfaced about Miller's church, Solid Rock Ministries. Public records obtained showed that Solid Rock holds a real estate portfolio worth millions and even a private plane, raising eyebrows about the true motives behind its tax-exempt status and the alleged misuse of church funds. Micah's family has been vocal, with her sister Sierra filing legal documents accusing Miller of a disturbing scheme. She claims that Miller colluded with his church to defraud Micah of her rightful property share by selling their jointly owned home to Solid Rock Ministries for a suspiciously low price, around $70,000 less than its taxable value. All this occurred just two months after Micah had filed for divorce and requested a fair division of property, adding a new layer to the ongoing drama. Neighbors have reported increased tensions surrounding the pastor's position. According to sources, Church leaders at Solid Rock intend to allow Miller back to the pulpit, despite allegations that he had inappropriate encounters with underage girls, an accusation that has sent shockwaves through his congregation and the wider community. This raid, combined with revelations of a significant property portfolio and controversial actions by Solid Rock Ministries, paints a troubling picture of a pastor who's found himself in the eye of a scandal. To add another twist, Miller recently filed court documents to establish a new religious movement, Living Water Church, in the same community where these controversies are unfolding. The timing has led to speculation about whether he's attempting to rebrand himself amid the growing scrutiny. What lies ahead for John Paul Miller remains uncertain, but one thing is clear, the FBI's interest in his activities is far from over. Could this be the unraveling of a deeply troubling web of deceit? Or are we witnessing a targeted effort against an innocent man? Only time will tell, but for now, this case serves as a haunting reminder that in the end, the truth always finds a way to emerge. If you found this story shocking, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to stay updated as this story develops. We'll continue to follow this case closely, bringing you all the latest details as they emerge. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our updates. Thanks for watching and see you next time.